Ukens ord, Gareth, they are... Skran. 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 That's, a, that's actually a bit hard to pronounce, I find, even with our rolling R's in Norway. Skran. What does that mean? Food. Food. Yeah, so it, it, it's uh, applicable at any time of the day. So morning scran, afternoon scran, evening scran, nighttime scran. Let's get a scran. Add scran na. It's eating and food related. But boss scran. Yeah. Shit scran. Okay, and on the topic, this tea, dinner, lunch. This is all confusing for a Norwegian sometimes. Does lunch exist in Liverpool? <laughs> Well, my one on this, no. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, so it's breakfast, dinner, and tea. And when the argument regularly comes up, which it does when you're speaking to someone who's from outside of the city, they'll say, "Well, you know, lunch box or something like that." Mm. And I'll say, "Okay," and, and many others will also say, "When you were in school, at dinner time, you had dinner ladies, yeah. not lunch ladies, dinner ladies. So breakfast, dinner, tea." Breakfast in the morning, dinner at dinner time, tea at tea time. And it would be, your mum would say, get in you for your tea. Get in and have your tea, not get in and have your dinner. <laughs> at the end of the day, when your dad had just come home from work, you had your tea, not your dinner. But the, your dinner's at dinner time. It's very confusing, especially tea. Just forget well. lunch, basically. <laughs> all right, all just right. Just forget lunch. Don't use lunch. And then if you think three meals a day, breakfast, dinner, tea. Breakfast, dinner, tea. There you are. 